So here we have the Asus OLED laptop. Hi. Hi. So this is our uh, Asus OLED laptop series. And now you can see there is a blue light filter. So what is inside, we have an LCD panel here and we have an OLED panel here. And by this filter, you can, if you put your cell phone or smartphone on it, and you can see there is a blue light come through this filter. So if with your camera, that is a harmful blue light for people's body. But if you move it here, and your camera cannot see anything, it's like all black, because our panel will filter out all the harmful uh, blue light. So this is demonstration is how we, our panel can filter out and have a good eye care for children or some um, laptop users. So that is our blue light filters features now. Uh, there it is. Yeah, so this is on all your OLED laptops now or just do some of the new ones? Our, all of our OLED laptops have the harmful blue light filter. It's kind of our benefits of our OLED display. And this guy, that is our dual screen laptop, also with the OLED display. And with that side, you can see there is our first foldable laptop and also with the OLED display. So have an ultra screen and colors and you can even change with different modes if you want. So nice. that's all touchable OLED and have a very vivid can colors. Can you put it on the table like this? Yeah. Does it have a stand? Uh, yeah. Be, uh, yeah, yeah, we have a stand. Size. Yeah. So there, boom. And that is a. You have it uh, as like a desktop. Yeah. So like I have a attachable keyboard here, so I can let it be a 17 inch so OLED display. K. Yes. So now I can like stream like this and have a attachable keyboard connect by Bluetooth. And this is actually available. Yes. Can you show how it folds down? Okay. If you want to fold to another mode, you just fold it up. This one up, and you can change and will rotate to the different modes. Like that is a uh, stand mode, or you want to like a book. You can sit like that. You can go scrolling. Anyone can change with the different layers. You can put your laptop or your website to the right, uh, left corner. You can open another app on the right? Yes, of course, if you want. I can open this one to the left hand side. So now, nice. yes, I can multitasking. Nice. And then uh, there's an accelerometer that flips everything if you want to uh, use it in a laptop mode and you can yeah. even use a keyboard on the screen? Yes. I have a virtual screen like if you want to have wait a second. Put it out something. I guess you just have to use the accelerometer. Yeah. How can I just put it on the Wait a second. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. The symbol? No. Yes. It's just a question of accelerometer. I think that. Like this one. Yeah. So like when I'm typing something, like I just want to. Uh, I'm looking for good vacation. Vacation spots. And yeah. this keyboard fits, how does it work? When you close it? Yeah, uh, when you close it, your keyboard and just put it inside. And that is attachable, like a magnet. You can just close it. Oh, wow. And you can just bring, fit in your backpack and carry it out. Wow. So this is, uh, how much is price? It's not $500, right? 
It's not fun during Halloween. The other is much more. I think it's like for uh, the, four, the three or four thousands on the market. People buy the market. Yeah. And how about this? Uh, is this also on the market? This is on the market. So the price will start from uh, two thousand dollars. Yeah. And you have a touch screen down here. Yeah, you can also manage your screen if you want. I can modify my screen to different position. I can do a lot of stuff. And if I would like to have a really wild screen, I can use ViewMax, which means that I can have my first and second panel and view it name in the same time. So I can scroll like this. And what happens when you close the laptop? The hinge will fold down and up. And when I open it, that will be lifted up with a hinge. And this hinge can make the heat out and help the performance boost. Do you remember what the price is on this one? This one is start from the two thousand dollars. Yeah. And it's got a powerful, po very powerful Intel. with the uh, Intel i9 CPU and the Nvidia uh, 40, uh, uh, sorry, 4060 graphics. And you can use an external mouse. And, yeah, of course. And you can just use an external mouse. Yeah, and, and there's then, also there's a little like uh, touchpad. Yeah. You can easily use it. Or there is multi function. If you want to turn the second panel into a touchpad, that is also. Uh, I just do the setup. Uh, yeah, if you turn this up, when I want to have a touchpad, I will just three fingers and tap, and the second panel will be your touchpad. Wow. You can use the same panel to cool. that. All right. And you, so, yes. So OLED is really bringing a lot of new uh, technologies. Yeah. Devices. For the ASUS OLED, now we highlight the ASUS Lumina OLED. We want to highlight the more three new approaches, which is more accurate because of some professional creators. They want more accurate colors. They want their uh, hour to be most perfect. And for more adaptive, we have a lot of like power saving, blue light, and it's more reliable because uh, you, you know we have to have a uh, OLED care to prevent by the burning issue and to protect your eyes. Accurate color and yeah. less of the harmful blue. Yeah. Nice. That is the uh, yeah range of harmful blue light, and by the OLED panel, actually our blue light is much beyond the harmful blue light range. Nice. What does it start the price for an OLED ASUS basic one? Basic one, you can have it like five hundred dollars already. Yeah. Well, we have almost a full lineup of the OLED desktop in ASUS. Can you show more here at the booth. Yeah. Uh, I can show you the 3D. I, yeah, you, you, you we did got the 3D. 3D. Yeah, what, what kind of section you want to like? Ah, no, do you have more OLED laptops? Oh, OLED here? here. Oh, of course. Uh, there is some of the... Create a laptop here, also using OLED. So that is the VivoBook, also using the OLED panel. Yeah. So it's a more mainstream laptop using OLED. And that is OLED. All this OLED too. If you see, there's a name after the name card. That is the OLED laptop, like ZenBook Pro 16X OLED. So, and this is a PCB you have in the OLED. What is the consideration? Uh, you want to do system and module design. Yeah. We, we, uh, and it's just more optimal. Yeah, we just optimize the uh, layout of on your motherboard, and which we can have a boost on your CPU and GPU. That's our design. For the There's a Nvidia there. Yes. Powerful one. Yes. It's bought by I think it's bought by the Nvidia 4080 graphics. And this is a system on module. 
Yeah. With the Intel chipset? Yes, with Intel. And the RAM directly? Yeah, with the RAM directly. Right, and there you say the 3.2K OLED touch panel controller. Yeah, which means there. you can like even touch uh, the OLED panel. <coughs> that is touchable, of course. Yeah. So you can even play with that. And it's also a touchable OLED display. And that, there, the keyboard is lifted. Yes. Uh, so it makes a different typing experience when the keyboard that is. That is called uh, AAS Ultra structure because we want to lift up the uh, keyboards. The first benefits will be like enhance the heating. It will be a more heating power it can be put, uh, with the cooling system. And second, of course, you have a lot uplifting keyboard uh, inputting experience, which is can like make you more comfortable. Can you also lower it if you want it lowered, or it, it has to be like this when it's open? It has to be like this when it's open. It's just a structure that have this kind of shape and structure. You also have RGB lights, you can customize your own. What is this? This is an uh, ASUS style, which means that you can like uh, control any index on your app in a more intuitive way. Like you can press it and easily to control the, like, the system brightness. Yes, brightness up. And you can even uh, adjust the volume. Or even you're using some creator apps like the Adobe. And you can try, uh, change, uh, adjust some of the creator laptop and tools like uh, the brush size and opacity or change the length of the, uh, your video and audio. That how long is, is the good. warranty for the display? Because uh, sometimes people talk about burn-in. Yeah. Eventually happen with OLED maybe. Yeah. Is there any chance this will happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a policy that telling people that within the two years, if your laptop is facing any kind of uh, burning issue, you can come to us and we will have an exchange for free. Two years, but after yes. two years? Yeah, after two years might be another policy, but at, uh, within the two years, yeah, we have these kind of, uh, uh, you, you know, like it's policy for you to return your like all the laptop. Nice. Uh, it seems to be a matte down here and glossy up there. Uh, yeah. That's because you don't want to have reflections from the light down that's here. That's right. That's right. All right. Cool. So thanks a lot. Thanks. And um, here, there's a machine that shows that you can fold them many times. It's not gonna break. Yeah, I just like showing the our, our, our laptop is happening through the US battery grade testing. So to ensure your laptop can avoid some of the very extreme environments like the hard. Uh, the high temperature, low temperature, the high attitude, and the uh, multi-folding, uh, this kind of extreme environments. Our laptop can handle this, so that's why we're calling, we pass all through this US military grade testing. So this machine is, is showing that a durability test. All right, it's been folding many times. Yes. Cool. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for the tour. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.